men! Mount up and follow me! There's work to be done! I should have seen hey! this coming. Control I should have known he piece. would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. Ooh. Quartford, you told me Rotary gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not worth telling. It's not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my drangir sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me. Lays his blade at my cheek and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of king. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. You can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. I've been waiting to get back at these Britons ever since you broke me from that cage, Dane. The time is nigh. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crowfood, and meet the dragon that will devour you. 
I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Nivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Get the cart, boys! We will light it up in front of the gates! Get the weapon to the gate!
Ivar the Boneless. Huh. You make a pitiful dragon. <laughs> I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nordnir spin his fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri.
Thor lends me strength. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouts. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri! Are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. Hold him up there, to the top, and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this...? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First! I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman, the true essence of old heroes. 
The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! And we spread them like wings! All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together... It needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Ivar. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Watch out! Have you no sense of menace? When I stop Guria, you weep. You cower in the face of sudden drama. Stronger already. So close to death, so cold is my heart. Where are the winged maidens? Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Gold again!
approach my axe ever hand me my weapon Odin may have use for you but this is more than you deserve uh, do not shame him Carry the body to Quadford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead.
Nas uskiras odličis. After me next week? Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made. Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end you did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire, an ally. I should confer with Randvi.
Mouse, how are you, my boy? Pleasure to see you, Eivor. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Nonsense! It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand.
Eivor! Kohta asja on teeg! Bassam has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding. Yeah. Not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding. That is my point. So you hold no stock in faith, only the rational proof, the science of the divine. You're bold to defy your teachings. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. 
Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So... Where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basil? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of... How should I say? Deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country, and this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bessem says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. Where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor.
Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstone. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. I'm busy. Leave me be. Stay away from me, stranger. Get away with you!
for you! Loitering and lollygagging! I'm looking for someone. An emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Ooh, la -de da Listen to you all, I and mighty. Get away with you, you valley lily! If you would rather feel the edge of my blade, it can be arranged. Yeah, that I respect. Forceful, to the point. As refreshing as a summer ale. You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred gowan and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. I'm looking for someone. Speak your piece. I have work to do. Seen anyone here on the King's authority? I've been wondering that myself. Did someone bring news of the Elderman? Lord Landry would make a good one. You're not welcome here. It's not been merely a need. Welcome! I will see you later, friend. You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the King's business. No, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. How about you help me from the goodness of your heart, and then I'll leave you alone? A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a Bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. That ale swamped scarp can't have gone far. Survey the area, Sudan. Stole my trues. Tra la la la, Fanny, Fanny, Ferrati. Where are you going, my sweet lady? You there? You alive? <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <gasps> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. A good dunk in the river, a slab in the face, should return his wits. Ow! Why do you smite me so? Oh, God's truce! Fire on you! Oh, what infernal wakes me?
I'm the one you sing of, Bard. Stern of eye and scanned of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, Weaver of the Obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Bloody real piece around here. Freeze you, Patrick. Burn or steal their ships. Too late to stop them.
solo un modo... Need your eyes, my friend. Welcome to see you.
Land for Volka. I should get this to the sea.
The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Zunin, guide me.
Slashed and disemboweled by sharp weapons. Saxon blade from the look of it.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Aid me, be my eyes.
send this. Show me. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Hey! Who interferes with the king's business? Joseph Elderman is a thane called Tetmund. Your killer has been slain. Rest the me. abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Basim and the abbot in Falkenstern.
Oh, you must try I'll my round of dice. You must. My abbey brews the best in Kent. It certainly sounds worth the risk of my immortal soul. Ah, your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. It sounds to me like he's never heard of England. <laughs> Not all that is written in the scriptures is God's honest truth. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Chuck. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedland. Tedland? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps... Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Batham? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. One more time, I'm telling you. If he says my boots are dirty or my hair needs combing, I will split him up. You're full of swamp gas. You'll do what you all want. I'm wary of this abbot vessel. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The Scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The Scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. I shouldn't be seen here. The hood should work. See you, old friend.
I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. <laughs> King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. 
Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes, to, to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and backbreaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah. The cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hamhock will get us all killed. You will not see another sunrise, swine balls! Pipe down, you dogs! You slaves of Kent now! <laughs> Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes. And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your Thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, da Dane... Daneland. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. 
But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well, uh, that aside, uh, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... as a feast for wolves and crows. That is all. You may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Uh, Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders. Tied up like animals. I need to free them. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it. And your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenifotshire will need them to hide their mercy and origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Red. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even hide them? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> They bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. 
I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry. Pass him. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. Sesta will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. in the ancient kingdom of Kent. The Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel still trapped. She who must be released joined. Must I find her? Here in the ancient kingdom of Kent, the Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel
Here in the ancient kingdom of Kent, the Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel still trapped. She who must be released or joined. Must I find her? Show me what lies ahead. This place is heavily guarded. What do you see, Sunan? from the other side.
need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. Jesus, what's happening? Chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Eivor, 
We await your orders. You brought your weapon to Nama. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
tower keep. Press forward. Dean, Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. 
Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! I'll return you to the Saxons. Ah. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! <coughs> Is dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Attack on sight here. Say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? 
I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Fulkay let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. <laughs> 